All of these flowers have some sort of damage. And I've actually seen deer right on the porch of this house. It's probably shoved back two and a half feet from impact. White-tailed deer population has the potential to double itself in two to three years. So uh, there's no control whatsoever for the deer on the island. We just had to do something. No matter where you look in Virginia, deer are staring right back at you. They're loose in schools and in subdivisions. Believe it or not, in 1930, deer were practically extinct. Today, almost one million of these creatures call Virginia home. And whether it's the big cities or the small towns, there are folks around here who think the deer are taking over. Or, or six point buck came right down the middle of the street, went right on through the stoplight, stopped the traffic, and went behind the old bank building. Like it was nothing. Just like nothing. Chincoteague is like any community in Virginia. World famous for Misty, the storybook horse. Now it's notorious for something else, a growing deer problem. Unfazed by cars, deer have spread disease and stripped gardens. He ate all the leaves, kept eating the leaves off until they killed it. That, that's dead. Bill Birch knows plenty about deer. He says that's they've mowed through his flowers gone. and cleaned out his fruit trees. Gone. I don't think I should have to give up the fruit trees and the roses for the deer. Birch wants all the deer shipped off the island, but with no place to put them, something had to be done. So town council did what almost no other community in the country has. The best way to control the deer is to shoot them. Even the ones that feed the deer mm -hmm. uh, still feel like it has to be some kind of control. When they shoot off this porch, they uh, shoot just past this pile here. Mike Kaysen helped Chincoteague develop its deer management plan. On certain nights, a small number of sharpshooters hunt female deer from the porches of these homes. Let me ask you, these houses seem awfully close together. Isn't that a little dangerous? Well, they are close together, but we're dealing with an urban deer problem. Fearless deer, like this one we caught eating a pear in someone's driveway in broad daylight. And here lies the problem. They love the way we have carved up the house the landscape and all the lovely goodies that we put out there like hostas and daylilies and azaleas and we have virtually created a smorgasbord for them in the process and it doesn't help matters any that there's a limited hunting season here in virginia so besides the bobcat about the only other creature that will take a deer in the wild is the automobile